Once again, the same example, a country with strong defense or weak defense. If the defense is strong, then the result will be that our own body will be able to fight the disease germs. Our white blood cells, our lymphocytes, they have the capacity to fight the disease germs because they develop a certain kind of proteins called antibodies. So, if the antibodies are more than the pathogens, then we will not get disease. It is like a seesaw. What happens in seesaw? If on one side there is a fat boy sitting, then this side goes up and that side comes down. But if this side is even smaller than the other one, then this will come down. So, same is antibodies and the pathogen. If antibodies are more, we will not get disease. If pathogens are more, we will get disease. Now, what to do? You see, there was a scientist, Lord Janner. What he observed that the cow men and women, they do not get smallpox. He went deeper because like I told you, in science, you do not get satisfied only with information. So, what he found was that when these milkmen, when they milk the cows and the buffaloes, they develop sores in their hand. And the virus which causes cow pox enters their body system. So, their body becomes immune to these virus. From this he developed the concept of vaccination. You see the word vaccination has derived from the word veca, which means cow. So, he developed the concept that if the pathogens are introduced in a living body, then the living body develops antibodies or it can kind of memorize that okay, if this kind of attack is there, what I have to do. So, it is kind of simulated exercise. You know how pilots prepare, how they learn, they are not immediately sent up in the air, but in the simulators, they use various instruments and get used to before they take off. So, it is come somehow getting used to. Why do we give tests to you? You take tests again and again and that is considered to be the best way for preparing for exam because the reason is practice. It is a kind of simulated exercise. Similarly, our body also does this simulated exercise and if we are exposed to these pathogens, then our body develops better immunity. So, this is called active immunity. For this purpose, vaccination is given and fortunately today with the help of scientists, we have been able to develop vaccination for most of the diseases. You have seen Big B, Amitabh Bachchan advocating polio drops, that is also a vaccine, probably the only vaccine which is oral, otherwise it is introduced. So, vaccination is not injection. In vaccination, diluted germs are introduced to develop immunity. So, it is not a medicine. Today, we have vaccination for chicken pox, for smallpox, smallpox is almost erected from the world, eradicated from the world, right. We also have vaccination for tuberculosis. So, for so many diseases, we have been able to develop vaccination and we can dream of a healthy country, a healthy world because now we have understood that okay, if you are unable to prevent a disease, you may cure it, but first effort should be to prevent the disease and that can be achieved through vaccination.